Hello guys, this is Sajid and today we are talking about uh, the caching, okay? Uh, CSS caching or JavaScript caching, this is good as well as bad. Uh, if you are talking about the performance, then obviously this is good because it can improve uh, the speed. But uh, it can also create one problem. If you are frequently updating your CSS, then maybe it will not reflect in your uh, visitor browser which can create a problem so you are making change and you think that uh, now user will see new design or some changes in the design but unfortunately uh, he doesn't see the reason is caching so the question arise here is uh, how we can prevent caching or uh, how we can force the the visitor or the customer browser or the user browser to to load the new CSS okay so the solution is very easy but most of the people don't know they ask the the users to clear the cache or something like that even though this is not the customer is this is not the user or the visitor responsibility to clear the cache uh, this issue should be managed uh, you know by the developer so this is techworklow.com and uh, someone asked this question five years ago and uh, uh, here we have some answers so you can see uh, this person is saying that uh, you should pass the version oh sorry this is not the uh, something like this okay so this is style.css and v we stand for version and then pass, pass the version actually this person is saying that every time uh, you are making changes you make change in your css file you should upgrade this 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 version yeah this will work uh, but uh, there is one problem with this solution uh, the problem is uh, you will always need to update this number uh, when you make changes in your CSS, in your CSS file and if you forget uh, changing this number uh, then then again uh, you will uh, you will face the same problem and here uh, like this person sorry he missed the v but he said that you should pass the time okay yeah this is uh, this will also work if we if we uh, let's say if instead of one we place the time function uh, but uh, we should uh, wrap the function in uh, in php tags okay so this solution will also work but uh, this is not very good for the performance because the time function this function will always return a different value and uh, the visitor or the user browser will always load the CSS again and again even if the CSS is not changed because uh, like the time the time function will always return a different value so and uh, we are considering this time value as a as a version of the CSS file so if this value is always different then what the browser will think that the CSS file version is changed even though it is not changed so it will load the CSS again so uh, this approach can create problem like uh, okay with the performance uh, this approach is good but involve like uh, a manual work so what is the best way okay the best way is uh, uh, you can see if you use uh, instead of time function okay if you use something like uh, uh, file m time this means that file modification time this function actually returns the file modification time okay so i think uh, this value like uh, this function will return a different value if and only if the file the CSS file is changed otherwise it will always return the same value okay so 
I think this this is good. We should not use the time function. This is we should use file m time file file modification time. Okay. So I suggest this function. Okay. So the code will be something like uh, let's say I reply. Uh, her, her readers. Uh, I suggest. Like. Okay, V is equal to okay, virgin and uh, yeah, V is equal to, and instead of this, we should for pass uh, uh, M and here we should. Uh, C says this one. This function will return this file a modification time. Okay, so I think this is uh, the best option. Okay, so let me comment. Where is okay? So thanks for watching this video, and uh, if you like this video, then please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.